pretty much my favorite time to be in the kitchen. Kids in the Kitchen Day. Isabel is on the show to show all of us, kids at home and parents, how to throw together three different Valentine treats. And the best part of this, Isabel, they're no bake. Yeah. We don't have to turn on the oven, maybe the microwave for a second because yes. we're melting some chocolate. But these are things that everybody can do at home. My big kids and Jess's little kids. And that's yes. why I wanted to jump in here because I want to be able to learn to make this too because I know my kids will love to make it at home. All right, Isabel, how do we put this together? We have three different things we're showing our viewers. Yeah, so the first thing, I'm going to make a monster rice crispy treat. I did these for my Valentine, for my Halloween party, but you can do them as Valentines and say, and put them with a tag that says, I have a monster crush on you, or I only have <laughs> eyes for you. Oh, that's cute. I love that. Would you say to someone, I have a monster crush on you? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Okay, Ooh. sixth grade? Sixth grade, right? Yeah. You would hand these out. Okay, so this is what they look like. How do we make them? Um, so you can take a rice crispy or you can make them. I felt lazy, so I went and bought them. I always feel lazy. So girl so this is my, my kind of thing. Um, and then you're gonna melt some like colored chocolate, and then you're gonna dip half of your rice crispy into the chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna pick your favorite side and put some eyes on it. Ooh. I like the googly eyes because you can make them big and scary, or you can do the little one. Oh, you did different ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, and I love, because I've seen these googly eyes at Walmart, yeah. at Michael's, all over, everywhere. And that's it. Now we let it, like, harden. Yeah. On the parchment paper, and then it's ready to go. Yeah. Done. And then, so you can do um, okay, so this is treat an Oreo two. love bug. And you can take an Oreo and then dip half of it into some red, like, chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then you put it on a, par a parchment paper. Okay. Oh. And then you take some different colored like heart sprinkles. Isabel, it's okay to get messy. Well, and it's like okay to lick it off your finger. I saw, I saw it's, your little hesitation. Like, yeah, you were going to lick like, it off. And then you're like, no, no, I'm on TV. But you know what, girl, I do it all the time. <laughs> and then I dump some sprinkles. Uh -huh. I do a lot of sprinkles. The bigger, the better. I'm, yeah. I'm with you. <laughs> and then you take like some candy eyes. Okay. And you can dip it in your chocolate. What I love is we always, my girls want to make cookies, like Valentine cookies, and this is just shaking it up you a little bit. It's something different, God. right? And then you can like put it on your little <laughs> love bug. And then you have to wait until it hardens for just yeah. a second and then it'll set up. Yeah. And look at his funny little face too. I love that with all the sparkles. Yeah. I touched it on purpose. <laughs> so you can eat it. I'm jealous because I'm over here. I did. We're going to get you one, Jess, because okay. now we're making what? Yeah. We're making tic-tac-toe uh, like graham crackers. So you're going to take a graham cracker and split it in half. Okay. And then you're going to make a piping bag to pipe on tic-tac-toe squares. How do you make Ooh. a piping bag? You can take a Ziploc bag mm -hmm. and you take your chocolate and you're going to scoop it into the bag. Which, Isabel, are there different colors of chocolate you can melt? Yeah, I have a, I used a bunch of different colors to like make, but I just did red for now. Okay, so you so can do pinks, pink. you can do purples. Yeah, I have purple over there. And this is what they look like before you melt them, right? Yeah. Okay. Keep going. You're, you've got and it then, in the piping bag. Well, and I like And then you squeeze chocolate. it down to the like down to the little corner and Just then this take a little taste because it actually too. tastes really good too and then the, like the tiniest little cut so it's easy to pipe out at the tip have and you made a big cut in the past and it was hard yeah oh wow i did like it four times and it took forever and then you're going to pipe from top to bottom and across the same way oh because we're just making a tic-tac-toe board with the frosting yeah. okay and then you take a like little conversation hearts, mm -hmm. five of one color and five of another color, and you can play tic-tac-toe with them. Oh, uh. I love that. So we're not actually putting them on because we have to yeah. move them on and off to play the game. Yeah. So this could be a fun activity you're doing with your kids and then yeah. playing the game, or that would be fun to hand out at Valentine's Day with a little card saying, now yeah. you can go home and play tic-tac-toe. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Does it harden up nicely so you could put yeah. it in a baggie? Yeah. How long do you wait, Isabel, usually? Um. Well, I waited until like so, like, this chocolate will take longer to harden because mm -hmm. it's all together, but, like, the chocolate like this, it's going to harden really fast. I know. Look at our, let's, like, test. Oh, yeah. Look at our googly guy. Our googly monster guy's almost ready to go. And then you can put him in the baggie, right? Yeah. So, I need to know your professional opinion as a sixth grader. Which of these tastes the best? Um, I like the monster. Okay. Because it's, like, more Okay, so crispy. look, this one you did more eyes. Like, you can go bananas. Yeah. You can make it as monster, like, scary or cute <laughs> as you want to. Yeah. 
Uh huh. I think this is the easiest one. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. That's why you like this one. Um, Jess, this like if you want to play tic tac toe, I'm gonna hand this over to I you do. so you can try it. Thank you. Um, this one says wink, wink, and let's kiss. Oh. And every I said, feel great about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you want these recipes, go to our website, everybody. ABC4.com/gtu. Isabel sharing them with everyone. So watch and make them along with us, with your kids, and you are set for Valentine's Day. High five! You did such a good job. Fine. You look Valentine's ready. <laughs> good job. Up next, everybody. It's a family reunion in the studio. Isabel's dad is here. He's not making Valentine treats, but he'll tell you why he's joining us when we come back. Cabinets and mantle for good things you